Okay, guys, we are back live. We are back on Twitch finally. So if you guys didn't know, I, I couldn't stream anymore because of huge internet issues. Uh, but it's now perfectly fixed. I can stream with permanent 13 ping. Like my life has like changed so much for the better recently. So um, I'm just happy to share that with you, to share my comeback on Twitch. If you want to come and say hi live, I'm going to be streaming on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays in the afternoon. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning and Saturdays pretty much all day so i'm on french time so you can check it gmt or utc plus two and regarding the game just like overall a good one decent one uh probably a few things to learn from it because i'm i'm chatting pretty much um but anyway i was just happy to share my comeback and my first game on twitch after a three month i think oh anyway hope you enjoyed the video much love <laughs> I didn't get to thank the new followers by the way that followed when I was not streaming coming from I'm guessing uh YouTube shorts TikTok YouTube Instagram so thank you so much to jungle diff uh two two just call me open Khaled Smfog Comus Mr. Zentric mm, Twistaga Epic Chalupa, which is Chalupa on another account. Uh, Toleb, Roidman69, Azef Camp2, Bileidinho, Muay, LGBT is dead, Kirby, that's the name of the account, uh, Dix Knight, Sunfish Fanboy, I Master L, Finit S, Rosco, Shaxtax, Rookie, Sub Zero Ten, Manophorus, Abgamerd, Dumbledore, uh, dum yeah, Dumbledore, but written in a weird way. Bone05, Dr. Godzilla, CD Regulus, and Patrick. And Enactra, Yagozen, Turtledon, Burnt Boar, Fissile Wave 56, Dolphin 93, Drewski, XCY, TechGalby 99, Dogpod, Otitos, SPG243, Leans, Trindle, ZX, Tizar6, bro, we got a lot, what the fuck? Tizar66, Ultra Hardcore 57, B. Right back, cat on fire is taken. <laughs> Try Flav, Ericsson, Rosen, Topelo, Warit. And I think that's that's it for the people who I didn't get to thank on stream. Well, thank you guys so much and thank you for the support. Welcome in here. I know that most of them are not here right now, but well, just just thank you so much. Um Okay. Let me cut Spotify. Because I don't have Spotify Premium anymore because I'm poor as fuck. Let me put the chat here and we're gaming. So I'm on the Entering to Masters series still. We're getting in Emerald Elo. And we're back on Twitch. Seeing that for YouTube. So we're back on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming every Monday. I think on... Wait, wait, wait. Every morning on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and every afternoon on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturday. It's Shadow on Twitch. Feel free to hop in. I'll be very happy, happy to have you and answer your questions if you have any. Anyway, let's see. What do we have here? So let's start with bot lane. Jin Maokai into Kaisa Hui. Well, it can look... Um, like Jin Maokai have a pretty good combo, pretty good CC chain. But that's if they can get on top of Hui Kaisa. Can they get on top of Hui Kaisa? Well, Hui never on paper. But Kaisa should take in because she's pretty short range. So I think I do they have the scaling though. Because Maoka is so good here. Like they don't have mobility on like Velkos, Wei. Um like everyone's kinda short range, but Velkos. And Velkos doesn't have mobility. Like Maoka ults can be game winning in this game. Uh if we play off them. Yeah, I think I think Botlane can do a lot of work here. Uh, but it can also look pretty bad if they don't manage to get on top of Kaisa early on to get some kills. And they have pretty decent scaling, but I don't know, like Maokai is always going to be useful overall. And well, their only engaged tool is I mean, Svay and Gragas, but I feel like we can manage this. Uh, Syndra into Velkos, especially because like Syndra can well, pretty much cancel these guys. Uh, Syndra into Velkos. I need to know more about mid matchups. I don't know much about this one. I'm gonna observe. We'll see who has prior. I'm I'm putting my bet on Syndra because I know that Velkos has been in pretty like weak state for a long time. So my bet is gonna go on Syndra 
regarding the prior. Um, but yeah, yeah, I would need to observe that. I mean, I, th I think it's a skill matchup, like many mid matchups, because like it depends. Like if Syndra dodges everything and hits everything, she's gonna have prior, of course, and the opposite is true. And then Vi versus Master Yi, we can expect way more uh, jungle pressure from Vi than Master Yi. We don't have info on Vi yet. Um, and I'm facing Gragas, which is a pretty painful matchup. But he's not playing phase rush, though. He's playing with Comet. Look at my ping aid! 13! Last stream it was like... I mean, last stream I had to cut it because of, of ping issues. Not even extreme like, issues. And, and my ping was around like 50, 56. So the, the good thing with him having Comet is that he doesn't have phase rush, so it's going to make it easier for me to go for uh, pretty long trades. Shit. Okay. I, I'm thinking about many things that are not my lane, making me miss 3 CS already, that's really bad. Um... I want to maybe try something that Ule does, and he goes Mercs into Gregus. I mean, this word, it used to be uh, Golem's word when I do Wave 2 Crash, before they changed the map, but now I feel like you, you, you waste like, so much time going on Golems. Well, I know where Vi was now. I guess Master decided to invade. I don't know how good that is. I guess it works. Okay, well I guess I'm just gonna let the wave push to me on the bounce back, try to thin it a bit. And look for an all-in on Gregas once I get level 4. Need to thin the wave a bit more. Because here, if the waves were even, they would still push to me, right? Because it's closer to his turret. But here the waves are not even, it's bigger on his side, so I can afford to hit. Oh, I'm missing way too many CS. He uses his ward, which is really good. I'm gonna ping to Master Yi that he can gank, because he's not gonna be warded. And the wave is gonna be on our side. And Gregas doesn't have phase rush. So, like, if Master Yi he comes, it's free. But even if he doesn't, I should at least get his TP before he gets to crash. Okay, don't go, don't go yet. Wait for him to walk up. Oh, this is fine. As he said, like he's gonna have to use at least TP if he wants to fix the wave. But maybe he's gonna use TP and not even be able to fix the wave. Missing way too many CS. First game of the day, let's just call it like this. Uh, I kinda want to see if I can deny the cannon XP. I don't think I will. I get the cannon myself. I messed up my freeze, which is fine. He's still on the map with very low, very low mana. How did he mess up the freeze? I guess I thought that with his Q he's gonna... He was gonna have some push power. And I had to match it. But yeah, I, I used my E poorly. And now I'm thinking about something. What if I keep Gregas on the map and get level 6? Can we not dive him? And Master is top as well. Yeah, I do think I'm supposed to get level 6 here if Master didn't soak any experience. Shit. I don't know what happened, but something happened. Let's go. Uh, no, I don't like this. Yes, TP. Well, now I guess I need to take the wave. I wanted to let this wave alive. Wait, do I get the plating here? He's asking for help, but I need to base. Oopsie. Ah, 
the fact that Mastery hit the wave like messed up my whole my whole plan. I mean, I should have adapted better though. I just had to base further. Psy doopsy. I get the kill, but he ulted for that. So once I have my ult, I would have an ult advantage. Also, I didn't manage to fix the wave all the way. Uh, he's gonna do it now, but I'm not gonna lose too much. And we got the grubs. Yeah, my idea was that we just don't hit the wave. I get one plate and then I reset. I think that would have been really good. But because Mastery hit the wave, I mean, I could have still let it that way. I think I think I wouldn't lose much. Okay, same with W. I see that he based. I know that he has no TP. So now I'm gonna look to push this hard, which I can do with Tiamat. I took Tiamat because I think that I probably want to have straight here in order not to get kited by Gregas. I don't see Vi, but I know that Vi was uh, tops not long ago. So I think I can afford to do this. And I don't have anything too crazy to base for. I'm tier 2 boots, okay. And the objective is bot. Like, if Vi comes top, it means that we know that we can go for the Drake. And we see her. We actually see her as expected. Up, let's proxy one more. Because, like, I don't think that I can dive him anyway, so... Might as well do something else useful. I can base with the amount of gold that they have. Up. Um. Mm, maybe double dagger should have been uh, a long sword instead. But I don't know. I have a feeling that this is gonna be more efficient, and it's not like I'm not gonna use this dagger. I'm building a PD most likely this game at some point, or even just an early zeal to spike. Okay, well now we come back with a big item advantage, and he didn't fix that wave. I can't deny the XP from these three casters, and now I'm gonna keep pushing because he's weaker than me. And I kind of want him to stay on map. I know he's not eating me instant whenever I... Well, we can dive now. I think he can just... Okay, let's try to dodge the E. Tiamat. Not the cleanest, not gonna lie, not the cleanest. Um, also, my first auto on him was supposed to be an auto on the turret. <laughs> so then I got forced to, to go for the dive instant. Uh, my turrets are not in danger, they didn't even take one plate, so I actually let the turret alive here. Yeah, but then this is bad. Bro, I forgot how much I hate the... Okay, I'm gonna do something weird here. I forgot how much I hate the build paths for strides. Like, like uh, do I really want to buy Phage and then Phage like you need to... Ah. So I'm actually going Noon Quiver because Kraken fits well this game. I'm still gonna be able to, like, to hit those guys. I think it's like maybe a straight Kraken Navari game, something like this. And... Like, on Trinity, you basically kind of want to spike, always. Ah, I don't get the last one, but maybe I'm okay. Can do something about it. Okay, let's not die here. I probably have a shutdown. Slave. 
Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's why you go face rush. Imagine if he had face rush the Gregas here, he would just like proc his face rush and and not risk dying or anything. And they versus Gregas still. It's a great yeah. He has a great kit, but it's way greater with face rush once again. This is true on so many champions, by the way. That, well, you just go face rush into train and then it's not gonna be an issue. Well, now I can go Kraken. I know it's not my original plan, but I got a bit caught in the. Like, just the fact that I'm, I'm building Kraken way more often than. Uh, than straight, and I just am not used to the base timers. Yo, Florizar. What's up, Broski? Um. Let's see, what do now? So I, I took a red trinket because right now, like in lane, it's good to have a yellow trinket to see where the jungler is, etc. But right now what I'm going to do most likely is push out waves and then look for rotations on the map. And for rotations, well, red trinket is way more useful. I mean, this is free XP, why not? And there's nothing to rotate for for quite a bit. Um... So yeah, now that the laning phase is over, at least for me. Red Trinket is going to be way more valuable. We see Vi, who's getting caught, I'm not sure. Who catches who? Jin is moving, so I'm going to bail him out. I know that really looks like I'm an asshole. Because I could have went and helped Jin, but I feel like this helps him more. Yeah, not sure what Velkos did here. I ghosted because I, I didn't need to ghost, but I wanted to make sure that I kill him fast because I want to go back top soon. And I just want to be efficient on the map, you know. Let's go! Débloquer une nouvelle arme! L'épée bleue! Merci le ref, merci pour, euh, merci pour le soutien de, de tout temps, de toujours. Ça va droit au cœur. Ok, this guy is dead now. Ok, these guys are dead now. Ok, we get, we get Harold. I mean, just get one wave and then go there. Um, how much do I need for straight? Okay, I almost have it. Well, Mastery doesn't need me on Herald, I believe, so I will actually use the six scrubs to go for a big demolish proc. Okay, there's a Drake in 24. How much do I want to play for this? Kind of want to. Yeah, I think. Ah, she doesn't die, but still we get Drake. Well, the, again, like, uh, I mean, I give a big shutdown though, which is bad, but I was confident that they were not gonna come, or at least only uh, Velkos. No, don't rate that. Because if she goes top, she loses Drake. Well, on paper, because instead we decide to raid the Herald. Uh, we could have just done Drake. It will be over by now. Okay, hopefully this is gonna work. Probably is. Well, at least the good thing is that I can be there for Drake now. We don't have much vision. I guess we have Syndra E for Vi if needed. Okay. Got the Drake. There's no objective for four minutes. So now I'm just gonna go top because that's the wave that needs to be pushed. Or be defended, at least. There's mid as well. Checking with W how far she went. Okay, she went pretty far. So let's see. What's the state of the game right now? Mid is our mid is a bit ahead. Uh, Yi is doing well. He's well scaling up. That's that's what he wants to do. 
Um, Maokai is Maokai, like he's always useful. I think, yeah, I think we can look to trap. Oh. Well, let's do something a bit different than trapping. With Syndra's TP and the fact that Maokai was here, I felt pretty confident. Let's steal these. Because why not? Yeah, so during those timers where there's no objective to take, what you want to do? Well, if you're the... I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but it's a bit different. If you're the winning team, you want to prevent the losing team from coming back. So you want to make sure that you don't give your shutdowns. You want to make sure that you steal camps, that you, get, you keep vision deep, etc. And that you play for your power spikes for the next objective. And if you're the losing team... It's the same but opposite. Like you wanna try to see if you can go for a pick, get get shutdowns, etc. Try to get as many resources as possible. Just turtle a bit. And and same. Play for your power specs so you're as strong as possible for when the objectives spawn. So it's kinda like the, the same thing, but because we're the leading the, the leading team here, we're the ones putting pressure on them. Now I'm seeing that they are chasing Master Yi, they got the shutdown, maybe I can use that to get T2 bots, which is a lot of gold, and... Well, I guess I would need haste now, I have zero haste. So I guess my next item is Navori. Okay, so that they, they wanted to make a play here mid, so I made sure that they get pressure. This way, if the play is winning, or if enemy team defends the play, well, I can get something for it. And if they don't, and they defend on me, well, my team is winning, basically. Okay, now keep getting camps. Play for your power spikes. It's 500 for Navori. I'm not gonna use my ping for this. Okay, just like showing, posturing aggressively, and then I have a wave crashing. I can look for this turret. Let's go. Uh, that's a lot of flashes, but I guess it works. Okay, <laughs> what happened with my hand? So I was I was leveling up a spell. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can Q. And then I was like, uh, I, I have to R. And so, so I did like Alt E Q R and, and the R came in too late. Oopsie doopsie. It's whatever. Had to happen. Yo, there's a... Ayo, yeah. Finally come back. Yes, we are back and we're gonna stream. Not as much as before though, when I was streaming a lot. But we're gonna stream a pretty good amount. Yeah, I, I didn't also we can use the emote again. I missed the emote, that's why. Really missed it. Mm. I'm gonna wait for them to take the Nash. So I have the gold for Zeal. Oop. Uh, yeah, I said that he was gonna eat and then come back, so maybe maybe he's eating right now. If you don't get an answer, say Kunju. Okay, there's Drake. Maybe they're on it. If they're not, we're just taking it. 
let's see. Do we want to go mid and look to dive them? I think I think two ways are enough. The way I like to play League is I like first like to go top and play triple inhib. Take one last reset or don't because we still have Nash and then just like end with that. But in some ways that's the best way to play League. In some other it's not like it depends of of viewpoints, you know. There's arguments that go both ways. Some arguments to take the safest way, some arguments to take the fastest way. And some of the arguments to take the fastest way say that it's safest because the longer the game goes, the more opportunities the opponents are going to have. But the thing is, the opportunities are... Well, it's easier for them to win a fight here than it is to win a fight once you go for triple inhib and all the shit. I don't know, it's just like kind of... Even like in competitive teams, like you have different play styles and different ways to approach uh, closing a game. So what I've been tending to do these days is have in mind my ID, but not always like impose it to my to my team and force them into like following my plan. If four of them don't want to follow my plan, then I'm gonna follow theirs. But if like one wants to follow my plan and one is hesitating and the two others wanna to, wanna to do like a faster end, I would I would just like kinda of force my my way. Okay, I guess it's probably fair now, so... He hit the he hit the inhib. I think if he helps me the best the Gregas, we can kill the Gregas and then I just E away. But he hit the inhib so we don't get the Gregas nor the inhib. I mean this like like why why did my okay ult here? Like we didn't have the waves, we didn't have the pressure. Like yes it's a 4v5, but for me like we just wait the next wave and ult on that. We just let Master E keep pressuring the other two lanes. Yeah, we're just not, not on the same page. Mm -mm. Also, I didn't have my sums. Now it's going to be way easier with Flash and Ghost to just run them down and follow Maokai's ult. Wait, me. Well, wait, Mao. And that's one big issue of Emerald, like closing games. And it was an issue of Plat last season, but now Plat players are in Emerald. So, same issue, same players. Just different icon, you know. Okay, well now I guess we play for Nash. Oh, I see three of them. Okay, Greg is spacing. I mean, there's no need to go crazy. My team is not in a position yet to apply pressure. I know that they based for me. One, two, three. Okay. That's all of them. Okay, I usually don't do that, but... Okay, well, never mind. 
Let's say I usually don't do that, but let's let's flank here instead of going for the nexus. No point in flanking. Okay, well yeah, it just it just got way tougher to end than it should have because I mean it all started with the Syndra getting caught. Getting caught after the Nash, but at the end of the day, we get it.